Well guys, we are officially through the round of 32 and the round of 64. It's time to do a second chance bracket. Yes, I'm actually doing one this year. And uh, yeah, it is a, a shock to everybody. Uh, I'm uploading again. Here we are. Uh, today we're going to talk about what I think will happen going forward and also talk about what we've seen so far because my goodness, it's it's been a little bit of a chalky tournament. I'll, I'll say that. Uh, you know, me and the, the bracket over here, we... Uh, we're off to a pretty good start, honestly, and uh, the relationship, if you guys were curious, I, I, I know that I made it public, that uh, me and the bracket are a, a thing. Uh, I think I'm the first person to ever, one, take their bracket out on a date, but two, maybe even get in a little bit of a relationship with the bracket. Uh, we're doing well, and uh, the bracket is allowing me to do a second chance bracket for you guys, uh, and we're going to talk about what I think is going to happen, because, my goodness, uh, these games coming up, they, they're exciting. Like, again, with the tournament, I know that it's been a little chalky. We've had our upsets here and there. We've had our Yale beating Auburn. That was pretty crazy. We've had our, you know, our uh, Greg Campy run with the Oakland Golden Grizzlies beating Kentucky. That was pretty cool, too. But other than that, man, I mean, we've really had a, a tournament that's not been too crazy. Uh, a lot of, a little bit of predictability, but in my opinion, I, I still love this tournament. I, I will never, never say a bad word about the NCAA tournament. It, it means so much to me, and you're just never going to catch me doing that. That's just not how I roll. So let's break down what I think is going to happen here with this second chance bracket because honestly, I I've, I've still have my Elite Eight perfect. Uh, everything is still intact, uh, looking good. Uh, I, I'm probably not going to make a whole lot of changes. You probably don't necessarily remember what I even picked, so this might be new to you. Uh, and maybe you're just curious to see what I think about the matchups heading forward because some of them are different. Uh yeah, so let's, let's just not waste any more time, guys, and uh, let's talk about this Sweet 16 second chance bracket. All right, boom, let's do this. So, UConn-San Diego State, this is obviously a rematch of the national championship game last year. Uh, a, a crazy, I, I, I can't even remember the last time we've seen like a rematch of a national championship game in the NCAA tournament. Uh, I, I don't know, you guys have to let me know in the comments because nothing's coming to my mind. Uh, and but in this game, I mean, come on, guys like UConn, they've just been the best team clearly in this tournament. Uh, they are a freight train and Danny Hurley, that psychopath that he is, has these guys believing that they've just been, you know, mistreated uh, by the, the committee, despite being like the number one overall seed, despite having like honestly a pretty decent region uh, when it comes to like win winability. Like I think that UConn is very clearly a cut above all of the other teams. So. I, I have them winning this game. Uh, it would be kind of crazy if like San Diego State just came out and shocked the world. Like, <laughs> you imagine? Uh, just, I, I personally can't see that happening. They do have a little bit of motivation because they did bring back a, a good amount of that team from last year. And uh, maybe, maybe they have a better game plan this time around. Uh, the, the national title game was certainly not necessarily close. So we'll see. Uh, I, I think that UConn pretty clearly is going to win that game. But I mean, you never know, honestly, with this tournament. It, March Madness is crazy. There's a reason why it's called March Madness. So I have UConn winning. Let's just keep it moving here. Illinois and Iowa State. Now, this is a really, really interesting matchup. A matchup of two different styles of basketball. Obviously, Illinois wants to get up and down the court. Iowa State's going to make this a grind. I, I think that Illinois is going to win this game. Uh, I had Illinois in my bracket, so I'm, I'm going to stick with them. I think that, obviously, they're playing like their best basketball. Uh, I think this is their first Sweet 16 since 2005. Um, so it's nice to see them back. Uh, I, I just think that they're going to be too much to handle for Iowa State I, just because like the, the style of basketball they're playing, like throwing it down to Damask. He's kind of opening, opening up the offense, and obviously TJ Shannon's been dynamic. So I, I think that they're probably going to win that game. It could get pretty dicey, though, if, if Iowa State turns it into a grinder, makes them play in the half court. Uh, but I just think Illinois is playing like too well right now. So... Let's move on down to the West, North Carolina, Alabama. I'm going to make this one pretty quick. I, I think that North Carolina is going to win this game. Uh, Nate Oates, he's obviously going to want to get this thing going up and uh, down the court. But I just think that North Carolina is just too balanced. And I, I think they're just playing so well right now. I'm just having a hard time believing that they're going to lose to Alabama. And Clemson and Arizona. Now, this, this is an interesting matchup. Now, if you've seen Clemson the first two rounds, uh, they have just been... like I, I honestly think Clemson's had the most impressive first two rounds based on the teams they've played. They obviously just completely shut down New Mexico State, uh, a sleeper Final Four candidate. Then they also beat uh, Baylor, and I think both those teams were really guard-oriented teams, and they're once again playing a guard-oriented team. And I think that this is a real matchup where we could see an upset here. 
Now, I'm not going to pick the upset just because of, in my bracket I had Arizona. So, but I do believe if there is going to be one in this uh, in the in the Sweet 16, I think that's the one to keep an eye on because I think Arizona is beatable. Uh, you know, they they get frustrated when you put them in the half court, and I think that Clemson's the type of team that can do that. And uh, that that's that's one that I think could be an upset. Okay, let's go on to Houston. Houston and Duke. Man, uh, Houston's look beatable. Uh, they haven't looked like a freight train. Um, I, I I didn't have them actually getting past to the round of 32 in my bracket. Uh, I had, obviously had Nebraska. <laughs> Man, that was not a good pick. But uh, Duke, in my opinion, and in my bracket, I, I think is going to win this game. And I, I think that they're going to win this game because of two reasons. One, they're playing really well right now. Uh, they've come out and they've proven that they are... A, they're not going to get punched in the mouth and Houston's going to want to punch them in the mouth and I'm not expecting them to be punched. I think they're going to be able to, you know, throw some punches with these guys. And I obviously think their guard play is just playing so well, like Jared McCain, he's just been on fire. And I just have a hard time believing this team's going to lose to Houston. And I, I think Houston is, I, I get this as a controversial take, but I, I think they're the most overrated team in this tournament. There's a lot of people that believe they're going to the Final Four. A lot of people believe they're going to play in the National Championship. And a lot of people believe they're going to win it. Not me. Not me. And I'm not just trying to be different. I I, I think I have reasons to believe this. Uh, I, I think that, obviously, their injuries are a huge reason why. And they've just... Again, that game against Texas A&M, they very clearly could have lost that. Um, and I, I just think that Duke's going to have a lot of matchup problems for them when it comes to, like, athleticism. We'll see if Duke can get punched, though. It's a big question big question we're, we're gonna we're gonna find out on that one all right new mexico or excuse me uh north carolina state the cinderella of the tournament <laughs> and uh marquette now this is a, a very interesting matchup i have been a big marquette believer uh i know not everybody is not everybody is i am i i love this marquette team i i think again they've been one of the best teams i've seen all year so I, i'm gonna stick with them i think that north uh north carolina state's uh cinderella run ends here i think that oso Igadaro is gonna be a he's gonna provide some issues for our boy DJ Burns. So I, that's what I'm rolling with there. Got to ride with the Marquette. I'm a believer. I'm a believer. All right, Midwest. Man, the best region. And my goodness, this is going to be cinematic basketball, my friends. Uh, Purdue and Gonzaga, obviously, they played this year. Um, I, I think that Gonzaga is just playing so well right now. Uh, I think that they could throw a lot of issues at uh, Purdue, especially if they try to speed up their guards. Uh, and with that backcourt with Nimhard and Hickman, I think that they can really do that. Uh, but again, riding with Purdue this tournament, guys, like, I'm just not changing that. That's just not, that's not happening. Uh, and then Creighton and Tennessee, this is, uh, th this means a lot to, uh, my, my race. Uh, I believe that the Dalton connect Baylor Shireman matchup will feed generations. Uh, you know, I, I can't wait to watch. I, I said on Twitter, I'm going to rent out a movie theater to watch that game. I, I might actually, uh, <laughs> that I'm just so excited for that game. I think it's the last game of the night too. So gonna have to get your popcorn for that one uh man really excited uh who am i who do i think is gonna win that, that that's a million dollar question I, i'm sticking with creighton in my bracket i had uh had creighton gonna stick with them no reason to change it i do believe this will be the best game of the, the sweet 16 so man gonna be a great matchup all right let's speed this thing up let's get to the final four uh yukon illinois like i said i just think yukon's playing too well right now and they're gonna put illinois in the half court and Illinois, I, I just don't think they're going to be able to handle those guards. So I, I think it's just as simple as that. I, I just think that it's a matchup issue there. Uh, North Carolina and Arizona. Uh, again, I have North Carolina. This is I'm, I'm sticking with my final four here, guys. Uh, <laughs> I've got them winning that game. I think that they just match up pretty well with Arizona. And, and honestly, I'd love to see that happening because the Caleb Love versus North Carolina matchup, that would be pretty cool. So I, I'm cheering for that to happen. All right, Duke, Marquette. Uh, th this, again, I think that Duke's playing so well right now, I do believe they could get to the Final Four. But sticking with the bracket, sticking with the bracket, not changing anything because, you know, I, I, I just couldn't do that. I do think that that would be a matchup that would provide a lot of issues for Marquette because obviously they've got, um, Duke's got the big guys that could handle uh, <laughs> uh, Oso. And I also believe that their guards, if they're, again, if they're ready, I think they could they could match up with Kolick and Cam cam jones so but i'm sticking with marquette I'm sticking with marquette all right purdue creighton this is also an interesting matchup uh i think that kalk brenner versus zach ed would be i mean it would, it would move mountains here and i think it would be a great matchup would love to see it but I, i'm sticking with the boilermakers here again they looked great they really did look great against utah state like 
if you had questions about this team, they answered them against Utah State. I mean, I get that it's a Mountain West team, but they were the best Mountain West team. And they just blitzed them. I mean, that was not even close. So I, I, I think that Purdue, I think they're ready. I think this is their moment. So I'm sticking with the Boilermakers, and for the Final Four, guys, it sets up the same exact way that I had it in my actual bracket. UConn, North Carolina, and Marquette and Purdue. I, I, I have North or I have uh, UConn beating North Carolina. Uh, I'm sticking with the same with my bracket. I don't have to keep stating that. I just think that they have too many matchup problems for North Carolina. Uh, I think they're just going to be physical with them, and I mean, it'd be a great basketball game, guys. I mean, that'd be that'd be great, but I, I think that UConn's just going to be too much to handle. Uh, for the Tar Heels. And then on the other side, Marquette and Purdue. Again, another rematch from Maui, uh, but riding with Purdue. No no, no changing that. Uh, it's just what I had in my bracket. And, uh, you know, the bracket, we, we're getting along. You know, we, we are in a good, a good healthy relationship, okay? Uh, I know that she might have picked uh, Arizona to beat Dayton, and, you know, that might have upset me a little bit. But I, I think that she might be the one, okay? I, I think she might be the one. And this would set up an, um, a national championship game between Purdue and UConn. Man, it'd be it'd be cinema, guys. It really would be. I think that this would be a great matchup. And I, I, I just think that it's so hard to repeat. It would be crazy if UConn actually did repeat. I think that that would... Uh, I already believe they're a blue blood. But for any skeptic that's out there, I mean, that would clearly establish them as one. And uh, no team's gone back-to-back in, I think, almost two decades now. So, but... But this is my bracket, my my picks. Uh, you know, I'm the teacher here. And uh, I've got Purdue winning this national championship game. I'm not changing that. So there you go. We're done. Uh, yeah, Purdue winning the national championship game. So we'll see. We'll see if, uh, my, you know, my Sweet 16 stays stays true. Um, I hope it does. You know, I, I've got confident, confidence in this bracket. Uh, again, like I said, I think she might be the one. I think she might be different. So... We'll see. We'll see if it's, you know, uh, the same old heartbreak. But uh, I'm, I'm expecting a different outcome this year. I really am. I, I just really am. That's, that's how I feel. So, all right. Purdue winning the national championship in my bracket. We're done. There's my Sweet 16 second chance bracket. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, let me know what you guys think about anything with the tournament so far. I get that it's not been, you know, anything crazy, but it's March. And, you know, there's no better vibes than March. Honestly, the trees are blooming here a little bit earlier see some flowers on some, on my walk, you know, life's good. All right. Life's good. So that's it. We're done. Peace.